Good afternoon, and welcome to the California State University Maritime Academy's 85th Commencement Ceremony. I'm Susan Opp, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. It's my privilege to serve as Master of Ceremonies for this historic event. Today we have over 220 cadets who will be graduating with their bachelor's degrees. There are 65 cadets who will receive their United States Coast Guard license. In addition to our cadets, we have our fourth cohort of students consisting of 24 students graduating with their master's degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the presentation of the colors and the playing of the national anthem performed by the Golden West Brass Quintet from Travis Air Force Base. Corps Commander Peter Tong, please come to the podium. Attention! Color Guard, advance the colors! Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
It is my honor to introduce the president of California State University Maritime Academy, Rear Admiral Thomas Cropper. Well, good afternoon. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. I know they know the answer and a lot of the families know the answer, so I'm gonna give you a question. What time is it? Maritime! You bet it is, it's Maritime. Good afternoon and welcome to Cal State University's Maritime Academy. And what a day. It's surely gonna be a great day. It is a great day for our graduates, it's a great day for their families, and it is a great day for the state of California. For our graduates, it's a great day because for them, history starts today. After many years of study in the capable hands of that world-class faculty, today's graduates are ready for global careers in a very exciting profession. The members of the class of 2016 that sit before you have been students and cadets and athletes and campus citizens, while at the same time satisfying demanding curriculum requirements of state, national, and international standards. To work or to fight, they are ready. For our families, it is indeed a great day because through these years at Cal Maritime, they've watched their sons and daughters be transformed into confident and capable professionals. Their children have received two wonderful gifts. The first is a lifelong worldview provided by few other universities anywhere. And the second is the ability to walk the talk because there were leaders here at Cal Maritime who showed them the way. For the state of California, it is also a great day. Cal State University provides access to education for over 450,000 students every year. The taxpayers of this state made a commitment to providing a superb education to every citizen. The people of this state invested in you our graduates, because they believe in the power of education for all who seek it. Our graduates and the families who have supported them have delivered on that promise. One in 10 college graduates in California and one in 20 college graduates in the 50 United States are CSU grads. The California State University now has over three million graduates demonstrating the incredible power to transform so many lives. But above all, today's a dream come true for a generation of Californians, yours. You will rise to leadership in practically every facet of California's vibrant culture. We have great hope, we have great faith, and we have great expectation that you will continue to represent yourselves and your alma mater with the same passion, humility, and grace we've seen as you've grown personally and intellectually at Cal Maritime. Now it's my pleasure to introduce members of the platform party, and I would ask each of them to stand when they're recognized. If you have applause, please hold it until they've been introduced. In the front row, beginning on my far left and your right, we have California State University Trustee Lillian Kimbell, Vice Admiral Charlie Ray, Commander Coast Guard Pacific Area and Commander Coast Guard Defense Force West, Rear Admiral Thomas K. Shannon, Commander Military Sea Lift Command, our special guest and commencement speaker, CSU Trustee Maggie White, one of two students serving on the CSU Board of Trustees, and CSU Trustee Lupe Garcia. In the back row again, beginning on at my far left, we have Dr. Susan Opp, our Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Julianne Chisholm, Chair of the Academic Senate, Mr. Steve Creta, Vice President for Student Affairs, Mr. Franz Lozano, Vice President for Administration and Finance, Captain Robert Arp, Vice President for Advancement, 
Captain Harry Bolton, Master of the Training Ship Golden Bear, and Cap, uh, Cal Maritime alumnus Bill Keyworth, representing the class that graduated 50 years ago today, class of 1966. Welcome. We are honored today to have several distinguished guests among the audience. I'd like to take a moment just to introduce them from our nation's maritime administration and a close friend of Cal Maritime, Mr. Hank Ryan. Thank you for being here, Hank. Longtime friends and supporters of, of Cal Maritime, Jim Callahan and uh, Maureen Ironman, big supporters from down south, um, uh, Bob Seaman, Captain Bill Strain, Jennifer Beatty, and the wife of our biggest champion in the Coast Guard, Donna Ray. Donna, welcome. From the Uniformed Services, I want to welcome the staff and uh, the OIC of our SSO program, Lieutenant Dustin Mueller, representatives of the Alumni Association, including our alumni president, Pasha McAllister, distinguished uh, alumnus, Jim Bryant, former association president, Ken Passe, our CSU Alumni Council representative, Pete Vanos, and alumni board members, John Betts, George Garcia, and Marley Schrepfer. There are many members past and present of our foundation as well, without whom our mission here would be impossible. And those include our current chair, Tom Edwards and Libby, Francis Keeler, Jim Morgan, Mike Rogers, who brought his mother, Joanne, and Dick Cochran, welcome. And from our hometown here in Vallejo, we welcome Assembly Member Bill Dodd. Mr. Dodd, glad you're here. And former Vice Mayor and former City Councilman Hermie Sunga. Welcome, Hermie. And Peggy Cohen, the President of the Vallejo Black Chamber of Commerce. Welcome all. Please join me in a round of applause. It is now my privilege to introduce Trustee Lillian Kimbell, who will extend greetings on behalf of the California State University Board of Trustees. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, I'm so excited to be here, just between you and me. Um, I've heard from my fellow trustees that this is probably one of the best commencements in the system. Don't tell anybody else that. Thank you, Professor, President Cropper, and thank you, cadets, parents, faculty, and staff for inviting me and my colleagues to participate in this momentous occasion. On behalf of the California State University Board of Trustees, we congratulate you, your family, on this remarkable, and your family on this remarkable achievement. Of all our duties, as members of the board, none gives us more pleasure than to share in the excitement of this day and to celebrate this wonderful milestone in your life. For every member of the board, your graduation is the focal point of our work and support for Cal Maritime. It truly is an extraordinary moment. Two years ago, as a new trustee, my first official visit was a tour of the Golden Bear when she was docked in San Diego. I was amazed as I toured that incredible ship and learned of all the hands-on training it provided our students. I believe that she is the Cal State's ultimate learn-by-doing resource. Cal Maritime is a special place for many reasons. We take pride in the fact that everyone is welcome here who wants to work hard, contribute to the success of others, and leave the world a better place than she, or he, than she or he found it. This is the baseline for determining the ultimate quality of your degree. As you leave Cal Maritime today, you will join a most distinguished group of citizens of California and of the world more than 6,500 Cal Maritime alumni and 3 million CSU alumni 
who precedes you have gone on to positions of leadership in business, engineering, government, operations, and civic organizations. Your lives, like theirs, have undoubtedly been enriched by the experience of this great maritime university and its mission to train, educate, and develop graduates for positions of progressively challenging leadership responsibility in the global maritime profession. Your many accomplishments in the future will forever be influenced by what you have learned here, in the classroom, on the ship, and in your daily lives. I hope you remember these experiences fondly and continue to be actively involved in the life of the university to come. The trustees of the California State University system are very proud of your achievement, and we wish you every success for the future. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Kimbell. Two members of this year's graduating class have been selected to deliver comments on behalf of the class of 2016, one representing the graduate students and one representing the undergraduate student body. We will begin with Mr. Carl Izier Holmes, Jr., who will deliver the graduate student address on behalf of those receiving their Master of Science degrees in Transportation and Engineering Management. Mr. Holmes, please come to the podium. I don't get out much. <laughs> be bold, be brief, be gone. Those are my instructions for today. So if I had to choose one word, it would be go. That felt good, but I have a few more words. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carl Holmes, and I will try to represent my cohorts today. In our master's program at the academy, we used references to give credit to our sources. So I'll start with a commercial by J.G. Wentworth by saying, it's our degree and we want it now. <laughs> and as the late Sports commentator Stuart Scott said in a word that modernized ESPN Sports Center, Booyah! 